This is going to be the first video on CAD Quiz for the Lofted Boomerang. This is the drawing where it shows you several dimensions. Um, and in addition to this drawing, I've given you several pictures of the, of the work in progress. This is the first picture. This should probably be the first thing that you do is create this triangle and then do offset planes from this face. And it tells you how far to do your offset planes. There's only one dimension on the triangle and it is a center point. So you need to think back and remember how to set up a center point on a triangle and then extrude that. And the thickness of your extrusion is right here. This tells you your thickness. The next steps would be to create the uh, path for the loft. And honestly, the best thing to do is to break this into two lofts. So you can have a left from this point to this point and a right from this point to this point. Uh, and you need to put points at each of the planes. That's going to help um, the loft work correctly to understand that it intersects the profiles that we're going to be including. And the profiles are the last picture, and it's these purple sets of arcs. All right, this, um, these points uh, are going to intersect with the path, the left and right path that you're going to create. So you need to make sure that you're using the project tool to uh, bring those points in that you created, because those points are going to be where you start and end these series of arcs. Okay. And once you get all that done, approach it very systematically. And then as you're lofting from this face um, towards this side, um, you can see if it is not working at any point, And that will tell you where the fault lies and what you need to correct. But I'm going to start here on this video. To do my center point, I start at the midpoint and go to the opposite point. And you only need to do it at two of the three. You can do a third if you want, but it's not necessary. I'm going to put my point at that intersection. And now I'm going to take that point and put it on my origin. I can use the equal because all three sides need to be equal. And have one dimension from the center point to any of the sides will be the same. 7.94. And I did not change my scale first, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. It's going to be in millimeters. 7.94. Extrude that, and then that is the first step. That's that triangle. I actually want to make sure I come up. Perfect. All right, so now I can choose any one of these sides and start doing the offset planes. From that point, distance is... This distance is actually in inches, so make sure that you put IN and it'll figure out its inches. Offset plane from this plane is another 0.5 inches. Offset plane from that plane is 0.75 inches. As long as you're putting IN in here, it's going to figure out that's inches. Next one is. 0.375 inches. And the last one is 6.7 or 0.675 inches. I think four out of there. Okay. Well, there I go. I've created or I've replicated the first picture on here. So, and it even says on here, the work plane measurements are in inches. All other dimensions for the model are in millimeters. So, this is just one of the times that you just need to pay attention to um, the directions. But this is uh, how you start the boomerang. And the next video will show you how to start creating uh, the next step.